Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Ludo Footy, um, the place for football, food and football. Um, so, uh, last time I seen these, I was in Holland, I went to the UEFA Nations League, um, and obviously after that, pre-season, uh, no football for six, seven weeks, so football's back, yes. Um, let's talk about pre-season. Um, results, uh, Newcastle, Alan, Alan McGregor's testimonial. Um, considering we played quite a few of the, the, the new signings, uh, see to be fair, it was a Premier League opposition. I thought it was quite a good result. Uh, obviously with Newcastle, with a big influx of uh, money now, um, there's there's a gulf there. Um, I can see Newcastle finishing in the top four uh, this season, hopefully. Um, well, anyway, that was Newcastle. Um, then we played. Um, was it Hamburg? And yeah, the Hamburg game was good. Um, we won the great. Uh, I would say, well. In my personal opinion, I feel that the players that I seen um, in Hamburg on my first video, uh, that was like more like kind of the first team. Uh, there wasn't really any of them really playing uh, against Rangers. So to me, I felt as if that was maybe their second team they were playing. They were obviously trying to give players game time. So for me, we should have really got a result out of that. Um, like a hammering, you know what I mean? I was expecting to see goals that game and it finished what? 2 1? 3 1? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, and then we obviously lost to Olympiacos. Uh, that was quite disappointing. Um, but I think we did see good spells in that game. Uh, but still, when you're preparing for European football, we really should be trying to beat uh, Olympiacos uh, and then Hoffenheim uh, second half was better than the first half uh, albeit still not a, not a great performance again um, and to be honest we're starting to see a pattern uh, a great, I can't remember the last time Rangers actually put in a good performance so it's quite disappointing um, new signings, Kieran Dow from Norwich just at the tail end of the season on a pre-contract. Um, I don't know much about him. What I've seen, a um, bit suspect. Uh, he's a bit one-footed. Uh, you're wanting the player in this, the middle of the park to be able... See, I, I'm going to have to compare to Barry Ferguson here. Barry Ferguson could pass the ball with both feet and he could look up and he would link the pass um, and he would open his body up uh, and put the ball either to the left or, or to the right. Uh, Barry Ferguson was brilliant at that. Um, so I'm not really seeing that buzz in the midfield. Raskan's a good player. Uh, we just need to try and build the midfield around him I think he, he'll he sit well in front of the defence now I know he signed in January eh, last year but still feel as if he's going to be like, almost like a new signing this year um, now that he's been here what, six months seven months uh, now um, to John Sterling we've not seen him yet eh, with him getting injured in training uh, so hopefully we start to see him getting games. Um, who else have we got? Sam Lammers. Uh, I've seen good good bits of his game, uh, but not excellent. Um, now he, he missed a sitter against Servet um, the other night. Uh, I think probably should have scored that. Um, 
Pills, we've got um what else did we get? We got Danilo from uh Finnard. I think that's a brilliant signing personally. Um but we need to get him in front of the goal scoring. Uh Dessers, uh, same again. I think we've 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 bought too many forward players. A pers in my personal opinion, um, there's a lot of people excited about the signs, and that's fair enough. That's fair enough. But I feel we could have sorted the back line. Uh, I feel as if we need a a left back, um, and we need like proper backup for James Tavernier uh, but I would maybe in my personal opinion start kind of easing Tavernier out of the team and getting somebody ho well, hopefully better than Tavernier um, and then I think, Gold I think Goldson's good but he, he, he makes a lot of mistakes um, Balogun was a good signing uh, for the bench, uh, but then again, that's for the bench. You'd want, you're wanting first team players. You're wanting first team players. Um, so, but then with the money that Rangers get, who, who can we actually realistically sign? You know, um, and this obviously, as a fan, you're wanting the best players at your team, but. You're just hoping, like a team like Rangers, you're hoping the scouts are finding the right, the right people. Um, so, I'm at Ibrox now uh, for Livingston, Rangers versus Livingston. Um, let's talk about today. Uh, well, obviously, my suspected team, uh, I would say maybe, obviously, Jack Butland in goals. Um, I think uh, he's a bit he's a bit of a dramatic goalkeeper. He dives for everything, uh, but then a goalkeeper should be saving everything. So Jack Butland, uh, obviously, uh, I think the back line speaks for itself just now. It's for me Tavernier, Goldson, Suter, and personally, I would like to see Yilmaz play, but I think Barisic will be on. And then this Raskan and um well I think it's gonna be Raskan and Cantwell. Um and then Kieran Dowell in the middle of the park and then uh, Lammers um Dessus and Danilo the front three. Um I hope we see a change today. Uh, we didn't play, obviously, we didn't play well against Kamarnock last week after a dis disappointing defeat. Um, we played a good first half against Servette, but I would argue we should have went on and killed the game off um, in the second half. Now, they did. Savet did score a penalty just before half time, but let's face it, they were playing their second team. Uh, they had quite a lot of players out and uh, through suspension and injuries, so there was no excuse. And then there was a late, obviously, the late sending off uh, for Savet as well. But yeah, that game, I feel as if we could have killed the tie off in the first game. Uh, we maybe four, maybe even five goals. Uh, Lammers missed a sitter um, and then there was a, a lot of good chances that probably should have been taken um, and that will come, that will come in the season hopefully that will come but we need we need it to come quick because we need to pressurise Celtic, let's face it, we need to pressurise them. So. Um, Without further ado, uh, I'll 
really needs to now and um, I'm going to walk about the stadium I'll maybe I'm going to try the Black Rooster as a new snack fan Black Rooster um, I'll try that and I'll get to you when I'm there Hi guys, that's me sitting in my seat. Uh, quite a bit to go to kick off, but I just thought I'd come in. Um, so I tried a uh, black rooster. I got the uh, chicken wings. You get seven chicken wings for five pound fifty, which I think is quite good actually, considering you're getting it for your snack man. Um, and I got the hot sauce on it. And it was basically just hot mustard mixed with a chopped up chilies. Um, the chicken wings were just cooked and no more, just perfect with that kind of crispy skin. Um, and it was, it was so juicy inside. Um, it was actually uh, the hot sauce, it was hot, so. Um, if you're not a fan of hot, eh, maybe go for the... Saying that, they only gave me a choice of mild or hot. They never really... There was loads of sauces there, but they only gave me two choices, mild or hot. Um, I just said hot, because I like hot things, so... No, eh, they were delicious. They were absolutely uh, spot on. It was actually a decent £5.50, to be honest, to spend. I mean, usually you're... Um, you're about six, seven pounds for a burger and a drink anyway. So I would rather get seven chicken wings. Eh, definitely. Um, no, it's good. So eh, we're going to wait for the players to come out eh, for the <coughs> training. Then I'm hoping to get a look at the team news and I'll update you soon. Right, so a bit of team news. We've got Jack Butland and goals. Uh, the surprise one, uh, Balogun starting instead of goals. Uh, but the back line's pretty much the same. So Tavernier, Suter, Balogun and Barisic uh, in the middle of the park. Uh, Jose Cifuentes is starting. Uh, also we've got Nico Raskan. Nico Raskan and Cantwell. That's the three in the middle of the park. Then we've got uh, Samus, uh, Sam Lammers, <laughs> sorry, and um, Danilo and Tessos up top. Um, not a bad team. Um, from what I've seen of Cifuentes, I think he's quick. Uh, hopefully he can get a good run. Um, hopefully he's the good support for Raskan now. Um, and then that's allowing, for me it looks as if that's allowing Cantwell um, to tuck in behind um, Dessers. Um, he's maybe going to be allowed to move a wee bit more freely um, with Lammers on the right and Danilo on the left. Um, and then hopefully just get the balls into Dessers and get some goals. So, aye, not a bad starting lineup, I would say. Um, let's hope we can do this, so let's see how the game goes.
right, guys. <clears throat> so that's me home from the game. Um, I've had a chance to sit down. I've just watched sports scene and uh, the highlights. Um, just to refresh in my memory. Um, so at the end, of, the end result: Rangers four, Livingston nil. Um, on paper, brilliant result. Uh, another three point. Well. Our first three points this season. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, my view on the game: uh, starting lineup. Uh, personally, I don't think uh, Lammers, Dessers, and Danilo can play together on the same pitch. Um, the system that we're trying to play just isn't working. Um, so, in my opinion, <clears throat> I would, I would personally have Danilo through the middle because as soon as he was put through the middle, um, he scored a goal. Um, it took Michael Beal about eighty minutes to decide to put him through the middle. Um, so the game itself, um, Lammers puts one now up. Um, good finish. <clears throat> um, but you have a hope and then just to just spring on from there. Um, okay, so Fuentes scores um, a goal, but actually it was chopped off for a VAR check for handball. Um, and I've just seen the highlights. It was a handball. If if it was another team that was playing against us, I would have been shouting for. Handball, so no, definitely a handball. Then second half, they came out the second half and they were slow. Um, passes again not coming off. A uh, a bit like the Sabet game, where too many decent passes are getting kicked out for throw-ins or playing passes too short, and the balls the ball seem to be sticking to the grass today. Um, I think they just need to be a wee bit more urgent um, with the passing. Uh, and then <clears throat> at around 74, 75 minutes, um, Michael Beale finally made some changes. Um, he brought on Sima and um, Matondo. Um, and they, they seemed to Changed the game and then he brought on Kieran Dowell quite late on. And um yeah, so two of the two of the subs um got on the score sheet. Um so the second goal to make it two 0 was a good cross from Borna Barisic. Um which the way we're playing uh, we need to see more crosses into the box um, and our attacking players getting into the box a lot more. Just It's just simple stuff um, that isn't being done, that you want done. Um, so, good cross from Borna Barisic from the left-hand side and um, Danilo just headers it down with the perfect header. 2-0. Um, then we had a couple of chances after that, um, and then the new boy Sima scores. Um, it was quite scrappy. Um, the ball hits the post from a shot, and it just falls to him nicely after a deflection off the goalkeeper. Um, I no, um, so that was three 0 to Sima. And then, after a good link-up play on the left-hand side, Barisic passes it to Kieran Dill. Kieran Dill, a wee fancy flick to Rabi Matondo. Rabi Matondo then passes it to Kieran Dill after a 10-yard like, a run or something. Uh, and what a strike. Kieran Dill hits it right in the top corner. It was an absolute peachy goal. Uh, so, 4-0 it finishes to Rangers. Um... On reflection, not 
I know it was four 0 and you, you you would say, oh, couldn't you? You can't ask for any more. But to leave it till the last ten minutes um, before you're scoring your second goal is leaving you. Uh, I mean, there was a few times in the game I was thinking Livingston look as if they're going to score here. Um, I had quite a lot of chances, but not like big enough chances where. <clears throat> Um, but they had the chances and they shouldn't have been given them in the first place. Um, <clears throat> with regards to Man of the Match, uh, I'm going to go with Sifuentes, actually. I thought he was brilliant today in the middle of the park, uh, considering it was his debut. He didn't let the, he didn't let the occasion get to him. He uh, just kept doing his job. Um, and obviously he got a goal, okay, it was chopped off, but it was a good finish. Um, so I'm looking for more from Cifuentes. I think he's actually going to be um, the player that we're kind of building the team around, as opposed to um, Draskin and Cantwell. Um, so, no, Cifuentes looks good. Um, let's just hope it can stay that way. Um, and, well... That's the end of the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed my review, if you like. Um, if you like, subscribe and hit the post notification bell because I'm probably going to be doing uh, quite a lot of the home games this season. So thank you for watching.